And it, oh, oh. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this red pepper dip. So the ingredients that you're going to need are two red peppers, onion. I'm going to use about maybe half to two thirds of this onion. We're going to chop it up. You need some day old bread, stale bread. You want it to be, this is almost not old enough, uh, or use your scraps from you know, lunches and things like that. I don't have any scraps right now, believe it or not. But this bread I just took out this morning and I've just left it on my counter to get a little dry, but it could definitely be drier than this. But it's gonna be fine, I think. You need about a cup of walnuts, some pomegranate molasses, and that's what this is. And then olive oil, I use extra virgin olive oil, some cumin, some coriander, as well as this her harissa. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. All right, so we are going to just start by chopping up the peppers and the onion, and you don't need to cook any of this. We're gonna just put it all into our food processor and let it go. So I'm gonna move my bread out of the way and start chopping up this. We will not be using the seeds on the inside. So once you get it cut up, we're gonna get rid of those seeds and let's get to making this. Here it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I taste tested it and it tastes so darn good. Look at that. You can make it look kind of cute maybe by putting in some pita breads. There, that looks cute. It tastes delicious, but here is where I would make my adjustments. Now, the recipe called for a quarter of a cup of this pomegranate molasses. I would cut that in half pretty sweet and I would say just do a eighth of a cup of the pomegranate molasses. For the haris, harasa, however you pronounce this one, I would suggest doing to taste. This stuff is hot. The recipe called for a quarter of a cup of this. My mouth would be on fire. I can taste the heat in this and I just did that tiny little scoop like I showed you. So I would say a fourth of a teaspoon to a half of a teaspoon. You can always add more, but once it's hot, 
it's hot. You can't get it unhot. Does that make sense? Uh, everything else I thought was pretty spot on for ingredients and it looks it looks good to me. I mean, I, I know what it tastes like, so you don't know what it tastes like, but I suggest you really give it a try if you are trying some adventurous things. Great to bring it to a potluck if you are looking for something interesting to bring. Also, very healthy for you, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you try this. If you make this, tell me. Do you go and brown your walnuts and brown your bread and... Uh, char your red pepper that's another way to make it as well I didn't do that with this recipe I just took the easiest recipe that she had and this is how it turned out and it's gonna be good and I'm gonna snack on this now probably for the next week anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you give this a try and if you do let me know I'll see you in our next video bye